New England. A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Pats have taken the early lead. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. yardage right off the bat here as he's up to about the 24 yard line it's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down tough running there that's a hard earned four yards yeah those are the unsung kind of runs they don't fill up the stat sheet but they do set you up in good position on second down see if they stay on the ground for second down now they try the right side here and they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see, second and nine. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not force that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. A swing pass caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Yeah, 
And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. Now they'll run it on the toss. And they'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from taking the lead. And it's no good. He missed it. And the game remains tied. Oh, boy. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. touchdown of the season and the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six and we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward but they kick it here and it's good Boswell on now to kick this one away this is fielded a couple yards deep and all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. A big play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots add six to their lead. The first look at the NFL scoreboard comes from the Motor City. Early on, it's the Vikings in the driver's seat. Stephon Diggs, he's got a first quarter touchdown grab there. And he's got it up and through. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard at the 21-yard line. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. Shift together here from the D-line. They go play action here on first down. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. Fresh set of downs here. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Carroll. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. First down as well. 
getting the sense Charles they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game and why not what we're seeing so far working pretty well from them and here's the best part we always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on I think he likes natural light best nothing doing barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35 but that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive and once again they show passing formation showing the shotgun then they ran out of it that's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game Alongside the former defensive back Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Jaguar football as we begin quarter number two. They've got a second and nine to start things out. Let's go! Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's got some breathing room. It'll be a gain of nine, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. Caught out left side by Robinson. And that play goes nowhere. He's met behind the line, and a penalty flag may add insult to injury. So on fourth down, Doug Marone going to send out his field goal unit. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Maybe an anxious moment or two when the ball was on its way, but he does find a way to curl it in. Oh, yeah. That one definitely hugged the left upright, but he got it to go. So the Patriots coming out now. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Throws right side, and that's complete. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. throw now they set up the screen that's complete and he'll take it down shy of 45 at the 46 10 yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down when you run a screen pass really well you gotta like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well the offensive linemen where they're faking people out the back slipping out there catching the football but all been going together as one unit downfield a really nice pickup and he'll get it down here to the 43 only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A big play there with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. 
And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal, way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's going to fire one. He's got a man complete. That one goes for 36 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that will drive a team towards a victory. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. to throw now on second and ten. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. The Jaguars on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. He'll look to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great play there with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Jaguars get a score closer. And this one through the uprights and good. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. to throw now on first down. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Here we go! The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hodges. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. to go in a wild first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Right. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. They get a good chunk of that penalty yardage back. A gain of 15. Second down. So they complete the pass and now they face a second down. play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them or do you decide to throw the ball here? And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception and they're going to come away empty. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flushed out right. a play fake as they set up to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Carroll. And they'll get it all the way out near midfield to the 45. A very solid gain of 27. out left. Throw left side complete. That's Robinson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Offense readies for a second and one. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on 
on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On play action, they'll throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They'll set up a throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, we're going to let you off a little easy there, LR. Halftime interrupted, and we are ready to get to this third quarter. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. 23 yards on the play. They'll look to throw here. And he fires one incomplete. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Ten yards still left on second down. They'll set up to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's brought down. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. They'll run it now out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really... They've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to Come feel on, a little bit go, better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. The Jaguars on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Looking to throw. And the third down pass falls incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Mm -hmm. 
four yards remaining now on second down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. get it out near the 40 to the 39. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Back to throw here. Now he'll escape to his right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. That one goes for 24 yards. the tight end in motion. Got it, got it, got it. They'll run it now out of the gun. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. In motion, Gronkowski. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. So here we go, first and 10 now. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And a short gain here down to the 22. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. to throw and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete it's a lot of contact going on there and in the end unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body everything looked pretty good until the finish now play number eight on this drive and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third This is their fullback getting the carry. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. He needed nine. He got eight. And that's going to leave him with a fourth and one on their side of the field. Oh, they get 
to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. Love the effort there. I mean, to get a field goal block in this situation because they knew what was going on. They give up those three points there. It's now a two-possession game. Yeah, that really changes the complexion here in the second half, doesn't it? It really does. And now you give your team a, a more than a fighting chance and a little momentum. Terrific job by them setting the tone and picking up their defense. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. He'll look to throw. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to make it third down and 10. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. So they get three field goals for him now, and this last one tightens things up a bit. And I know that offense is on the sideline right about now, checking out the tablets and saying, man, we let a good chance slip away there. We've got to start finishing some of these drives. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down. his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. Throw complete right side to Cooks. That's Brandon Cooks, and all the way in, touchdown, New England. Brandon Cooks with touchdown number eight on the year, and the Patriots add six to their lead. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a very solid return out across the 45-yard line before going out of bounds. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. First down, he'll drop to throw it. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. 
No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You have the first one for the second one to even matter. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Let's go! Let's... He'll drop to throw. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. The Jaguars on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and ten. to throw and he fires one that's intercepted it's Chris Harris with a pick and he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45 yard line both defenses have had their struggles but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead it's been a game of punch counter punch hasn't it all throughout but this time the big swing was taken and it didn't land Nice play by them on defense. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Fourth quarter, holding on to a lead. Fullback carry, three or four yards. I guess that's what you're looking for. And it just brings back memories for me because I remember my coaches in this situation. I remember one time my head coach into his headset telling the offensive coordinator, I want the big boy carrying the ball. And that's what you have in this spot. Him covering up on the ball, taking care of it, and grinding out yardage. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. A ball may come your way. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Now a handoff looking right. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. And he'll give it here to his running back. Down to the 25. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll give to the fullback on the dive. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Seven yards remain now on third down. Here we go. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. 
This is fielded at the goal line. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Elsewhere, Ford Field there into the fourth quarter now. now. You saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And if they could hold on to that lead, it would be win number four on the season for them. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Dietrich Wise Jr. in there to sack him for a loss of six. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 22, and his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Charles the Fork.